It's been as long a winter as I have ever seen The kind that makes before December like a long lost dream But today in New York City there is something in the air Out from under long black jackets, colors blooming everywhere And for the first time in a long time I feel something warm and bright It's a new day We have just driven into the northeastern gate of uh, Glacier National Park. It's a bit of a drive to get here from this glacier. Two and a half hours, Blair? Uh, two hours and 15 minutes. Okay. Or because right she drives like a no, crazy or woman. Right under, right at two hours. It's because you drive not, like a crazy woman. I do not drive like a crazy woman. I drove the speed limit. I've been sitting over here. Look at Airstream. I've been over here editing video drives. Oh, wow. I, we don't do this very often because typically I'm driving because we're pulling a trailer. But um, this this entrance is pretty awe-inspiring from what you can see uh, in here. You could drive again, but easy drive, I guess, to get here. Uh, mainly 70 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour. 70 miles an hour. 65 for trucks and trailers. <laughs> yeah. uh, but decent, decent trip. But again, coming in this park, this entrance is awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's you a, come up right up over a hill and then there's the lake yeah, and then all the mountains. Grand. Yeah. Grand views. It is. All right. Let's go hike. Yeah. You ready to hike, Blair? I'm ready. Well, not quite ready, but ready. You getting there? Right there. Alright. And we're here. Almost right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't mind that climb at all. I think it's better to see it as opposed to just be stuck in the trees. Right. <laughs> Looks good. Nice. Let's go see things. Yeah, I thought I thought we had to keep going and go up. <laughs> awesome. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's so neat. Look at that trail that goes all the way down. Yeah. I guess you could go down to the lake if you wanted. I don't. It's a hike back up. Cool. <laughs> it's not raining. I am just trying to insulate my heat. Pretty grand view back there. Yeah, it's really cool. It's overexposed. <laughs> Bug in my eye. How was your walk up? That's good. The first half, not bad at all. Smooth, cruisy, relatively flat. Second half, there's a steep portion, and then it flattens out for a bit, and then you've got just a light grade until you get to the switchbacks at the lake. 
all the way to the top. And it's not as bad as it looks. No. Yeah. You'll get to the lake and you'll be like, oh my God, I have to climb that high. But it's not that bad. Yep. Yeah, it didn't take long at all. Hour and 40 minutes to the top. I think. Maybe 50. Hour and 50, I think. Oh, hour and 50. Sorry. Because you're slow. Oh, unacceptable. <laughs> you're going to be slow on the downhills. Yeah. That's okay. Um, it was good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Oh, sure. With this view back there behind us. <laughs> Three hours and 48 minutes, 10.63 miles, average pace 21.27. Ooh, my average heart rate was only 135. That's pretty good. Yeah. Elevation gain 22.31. <laughs> Not bad. Yep. And well, it's... I can't say the name of the trail. It's... I think the P is silent, but we should ask someone. It's a tunnel up at the top. Yeah. Great trail. Awesome. Yep. We started... Well, I don't know what time we started, but it's 12.22, so highly would recommend morning. Yes. People walking up right now are... Hot. Warm. We got to talk to quite a few awesome humans on the trail. Um, super nice, everybody. Yeah. I kept giving the... I was the greeter. I was the trail greeter for the day. You said, what, welcome to Glacier. Welcome to Glacier. Enjoy your day. Everybody's like, oh, you're so nice. I'm like, I'm just really just taking a break so I can watch you struggle up this hill. Because we just struggled up it not long ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, we were chatting on the way down. It's a pretty easy hike up to the waterfall, which is about the halfway point, give or take a little bit. Yeah. It's just some rolling hills. And then after that, you've got a little bit of elevation for a short period of time, a little bit more of rolling hills till you get to the lake. Yeah. The bugs down here are terrible. Yeah. And then you have the oh, probably thousand foot climb switchbacks. Um, but they look worse than they are. Yeah, when you get to the lake up there, you got a mile to go, and as yeah. you can see, the whole time you got to yeah. walk. Yeah. But it's an awesome view coming back. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go get some chow. Get out of this bug zone. I have a public service announcement. If you're an RV driver, or pulling a trailer or any other big vehicle and you look in the rearview mirrors and you notice a lot of cars behind you like 15 we're number four in line pull over and get out of the way for the rest of the world to drive by spoken from an rv driver yeah we often quite often i'll pull over let people buy not a problem but the speed limit on this road is 70. We've been doing 55 for the last 20 miles because these people have passed. We're at 45. 50, 45 now. Yeah. These people have passed at least 15 spots to pull over. All three of them could pull over. There's three RVs in a row. They're just cruising on down the road at their comfortable speed, which I get. But not when you got a line of cars behind you. You ever heard of Great Wolf Lodge? We just found the Wolf Lodge. It's pretty cool, but it's not great.
when someone runs the red light, that's a one way. <laughs> Backed up as far as you could. Welcome to Glacier National Park. Lake yeah. McDonald. Yeah. We're standing right in front of this little hotel here. That the village inn. Would be pretty awesome to stay here. If we weren't traveling in the rig. Yep. Be a great place to stay. But the water is super clear. See all the rocks? You can go out to the middle of the lake and it's whatever deep you can see all the way to the bottom. It's pretty epic. So if you do come here, it'd be worth getting a paddleboard or getting a canoe and going to check it all out because it's legit. Yeah, it's beautiful. The whole park has been great. Traffic is not so much great. <laughs> Parking is a nightmare Yeah. anywhere you go here. But that's many national parks today, so not uncommon. And we're in peak season too, yeah. which we typically try to stay away from. July is about the only time you can come here and enjoy the whole park though. Maybe a little bit of August. July, August, early September. But yeah. after that and before that, you can't even get anywhere. Cause, yep. Uh, we drove to the sun. Blair hit a mirror on a rock. No. She sucked in all the air though. And then we hit the mirror. Yeah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> it's unavoidable. Yep. Uh, the Abgar village is just a little trinket town to see all the... Souvenirs, see, rentals. Yeah. You can rent a electric dirt bike which would be pretty awesome yeah we should get one of those you want to rent an electric dirt bike we can rent it yeah oh yeah i would <laughs> i just thought it was someone's no that's an electric dirt bike that sounds like a lot of fun yeah really there's cool. plenty of little bike trails if you bring your own little bike you can ride around the village here and there's a number of trails that just on this end of the park you can ride around too regardless take your time and drive around to the other side of the park yeah. The eastern side, eastern entrances. Uh, not really the St. Mary's Visitor Center. To go to the one north of that and go yeah. up there and get there early. Yeah. And go hang on that side of the park and take the hike up to the falls or take the hike all the way up to the, the tunnel. The tunnel because it is legit. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And we're going to go wash our truck and get it cleaned up and get ready for the next adventure yeah. down the road. We're headed back down through. Montana, Idaho. Yeah. And um, stop a couple places on the way. See some national battlefields, national historic places, and yeah, go hike some mountains. Yeah. See if Blair can make it to the top this time. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, that's be fun. You've lived at altitude enough now. I think so. All right, let's go for a walk. You're doing your best behavior. Yes, you can't stay. All the color I forgot about. <laughs> I just don't want to get burnt. What's up, girl master? To be found. Yeah, I remember now. It's a new day. It's a new light. Feel the wind change. Feel the sunlight. And tomorrow's brighter than it's ever been before. Winter came and now it's gone away. <laughs>